Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Lady Luxury. I miss you guys. I'm so sorry that it's been a little while since I've posted. <sighs> There's been a lot going on over here, um, but all good, you know. I'm, I'm currently in a period of transition in my life and um, I'm learning that transition's not always comfortable. Um, and sometimes you got to just do it alone and take that time away to uh, really figure out your life. And so that's what I've been doing, guys. So again, I'm so sorry I have not been posting uh, regularly every week as I was before. Um, but, you know, I'm back now. And um, going forward, I don't know this next month or two um, with things that are currently going on in my life. I don't know if I will be on every week posting, but I will be posting as much as I possibly can, guys, okay? Um, and I'll also put like my my uh, links for my Instagram and my Facebook so that if you guys want to reach out to me and communicate, um, I'm still active there. But again, I'm gonna post really when I have time after this video um, until the next chapter of my life begins and um, I come back and share the great news with you guys and uh, we go from there, okay? So, as you guys know, nothing has changed with how we start these videos. Power thoughts. Gotta start on a positive note, right? Okay. Oh, I like this one. Okay, so this one says, hopefully you can see it with the light, I prosper wherever I turn. Amen to that. I now see opportunities for abundance everywhere I am, blessed and prospered. Yes, I love that, guys. If you believe it, you can achieve it. So let's have some thoughts of prosperity and abundance today and the rest of this week and the rest of this year okay guys so i am so excited because i have another snack crate box yes i'm so excited so i literally have not opened it yet can you see the tape i don't even know what country this is from i know nothing so let's uh jump right in without further ado and see what we got going on here today where are we traveling to Guys, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm fucking did a drum roll or something. Okay. Oh, this tape. Get out the way. Ah! We're going to Russia. Oh my goodness. Guys, I am stoked right now. I've never had Russian food. I've never been to Russia. This is really exciting. So this month's crate is from Russia, okay? The capital in Russia is Moscow. It was established December 25th, 1991. Wow. Stretching two continents, 11 time zones, and bordering 16 sovereign nations. So some fun facts about Russia. The Trans-Siberian Railroad, which, is, which connects Moscow to Far East Russia is the longest railroad in the world, spanning 5,772 miles and crossing eight different time zones. Guys, it's nuts. Wow. I can barely keep up with, um, oh my goodness, daylight saving. <laughs> Although, okay, so another fun fact. Although this game quickly gained international popularity, the first edition of Tetris was invented in 1984 by the Russian programmer Alexei I don't know. We're just going to call him Alexi P. How about that? Um, another fun fact, traffic in Moscow was so horrendous that some wealthy Moscow Moscow buy ambulances so they can drive freely during rush, during rush hour. Really, guys? Y'all out there being savages like that? Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's keep going, guys. So, for a brief moment in the 90s, PepsiCo made a deal with Russia that left them with one of the largest submarine fleets in the world. Interesting. And lastly, Russia is the home of the oldest and largest freshwater lake in the world. Lake Baikal uh, contains nearly 20% of the world's fresh water. Very cool. So, look at those cool pictures. 
Russia is definitely gonna be on my travel list. I heard it's very beautiful there. Guys, let's jump in. Oh my gosh, do I have a little, is this a little babushka? Oh, look at that. So it's, I don't think it's edible, but it's a little babushka. Uh, this month we've included a souvenir button that can be sewn onto your clothing or used in a scrapbook to remind you of your Russian adventure. Oh, I love it. How cute. Oh my gosh. I may have to like sew this onto like a, a jacket or something. I love that. My little babushka. Okay guys, so this is what we have here. This is the paper with all of the snacks on it. So like I did before, I will read through the description as I try the snacks. So this is the packaging for it for this, this month. Woohoo! So last time we did Canada and as you see, it's Russia. Super cute. We got little babushkas all over. I just love that word. Babushka. So cute. Okay. Guys, I'm so excited. Okay. So, first thing I see here, these are interesting. Guys, I, I don't even know what it says. I cannot read Russian. Um, so, let's try to find it on the paper here. I'm low-key nervous. This must be it. This must be the, the bears. The crush. Guys, this is a little more confusing than I thought. I think this is it. So, if this is the case, it's passion fruit, raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, pineapple, and apple flavored, chewy jelly candy in shape of uh, mischievous bears. Okay. Well, this is the only thing that resembles the bears, so this has to be it. Let's dive in, guys. Okay, little bears. No, this is not it. This is actually like a, like a pink popcorn. Russian light and fluffy pancake. Guys, I don't know if they gave me the right reading, the right information here. Okay, well anyways, let's try it. It looks like it's a strawberry popcorn. Oh, it smells so good, oh my gosh. Guys. Okay. So it's like this. Can you see it there? It's like a strawberry flavored. Uh oh. My sleeves are knocking popcorn all over the place. It is a strawberry flavored, like kettle corn, is what it reminds me of. It's sweet, but not too sweet. I really like this. I'm enjoying this. Okay. I'm gonna put this to the side. This gets a um this gets an A plus in my book. I like this a lot. <clears throat> very, very good. Strawberry flavored popcorn. Who would have thunk? Mmm. I have my lemon water there. Take a little sip of that. Oh, we got a lot of snacks here, guys. Ooh. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave the salty till after. I'm gonna I'm gonna hop over to the sweet. Okay. Since we're already on the sweet train. So the next thing, which I'm super excited about, because I love bananas. Anybody that knows me knows I love them. Okay, so this is a bisque vit cake banana. A uh, sweet and spongy shortcake with decadent banana cream filling in the shape of a fun animal. Y'all, you had me. You had me at banana and cream filling. You had me. It's super small. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, hold on. Tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. Get out of here. Now why is, is this, is this supposed to be a monkey? It looks like a hippo. So why it's not a monkey, I don't know, but it's a hippo. Oh my goodness, so cute. It's nice and spongy. I'm gonna break it in half because I wanna taste that filling. So hopefully you can see that. It doesn't look like it's too much. It's not oozing out or anything. We'll save his head. Save his head for later, put him back in the bag. And I'm actually gonna break just another piece of this off. Ooh, I smell the banana. Kind of smells like banana bread. It 
So it's a lot sweeter than what I would have thunk. A lot sweeter. It's not as, it's moist. It is moist, but not as moist as I would have thunk, thought it would have been considering bananas are in this. I will say, I do taste a little bit of like artificial banana. Um, really not much cream. The cream is pretty good. I like a banana flavored. Again, it does give me remnants of uh, artificial banana. Um, B minus. Yeah, I think it's about a B minus. Ah, huh. I'll finish that half. It's okay. Um, it probably really good with some tea, maybe some coffee. But, okay. Mm. You know what? It would probably be really good if we warmed it up as well. I could see that being really tasty warmed. But, nice little snack. It is pretty decadent and thick. So, that's good. Okay. Cleanse the palate. Mmm. Up next, up next. Okay. So... Let's see what we have here. So I think this is the other snack that I had read with the passion fruit, raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, pineapple, and apple, fl apple flavored chewy jelly cake candy in the shape of the bears. I think that this is what this is. Although they are not in the shape of bears, they are in the shape of trucks. So it looks like little gummy, like gummy bears or something. This package is a little bit thicker, so let's just cut that open. I do like to smell this stuff, guys. Oh, look at that, like little planes, how cute. They remind me of fruit snacks. Okay. Hmm, it's pretty cool because all of the information, is very authentic, it's all in Russian. So I have no idea what fully was in this bag. <laughs> Even the front. All in Russian. How fun. Um, they're not bad. They're like gummy bears with different flavors. Mmm. Well, I like that one. I think that's pineapple. They're not bad. I like it. All different flavors. Looks like this pomegranate, apple, pear, cherry. Yeah, there's some fun flavors in there. Um, I'll give it a B plus, you know. Honestly, I may be a little biased because I like gummy bears, but I'm not like all the way crazy about them. But if you love like fruit snacks and gummy bears, this is all you, all day. But not bad, not bad at all. I enjoy that. Okay guys, ooh, I like these. So I've had these before. These are Stropos, I believe they're called Stropo. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. So it's two soft and chewy waffle cookies sandwiched around a layer of thick caramel. So I actually know what these taste like already, but I will open it up for you guys so you can see. Um, I like these. These are, these are good with uh, like tea or coffee. So this is it, if you've ever seen them. I know in certain European countries, they will serve like tea or cappuccino and put this on the top. So these are really yummy. I'm just gonna break a piece of this off. Again, I know what these taste like. Mmm. And this one's delicious. Just as expected. It's like a waffle cone. <clears throat> Excuse me. A waffle cone sandwich, a thin piece of waffle cone sandwiched in between caramel. Mmm. So delish. A nice little snack. I may have this later with some tea. Love that. Very, very good. Okay. Guys, we are winding down. Two more snacks left. So they have this snack on here called the Basker Wheels, which sounds good. It's not in this box, but it's light and fluffy pancake with a surprise jam filling seeping out of every bite. That's very interesting. But it sounds good. Um, 
let's see okay so the next thing we have here let's go with the tomate just stuff so basically this is it crispy crunchy and doused in flavor these rusk are covered or coated in rich tomato and herb dusting sounds like something you would add to a salad okay let's give it a shot oh they're so small they're literally like little croutons so cute oh i smell cheese kind of smell tomato did you hear that crunch whoa Wow, these are really yummy. Honestly, I love to throw these on a salad. They're so good. Um, it's not overpowering with tomato flavor, which I appreciate. Um, not too salty. It's literally like the perfect blend. It is the perfect crouton. I love it. Okay, one more and then I'm done. So good very crunchy I like that I like that a lot um, as far as flavor I'm gonna give it a minus I didn't think it was gonna be as crunchy and maybe that's what threw me off but the flavor is awesome I really enjoy these and lastly, I think these may, these may be the ones. So I love these last. Okay guys, so I'm not gonna even attempt to pronounce the name. I'm not gonna do that to myself, nope. But I will read the description. So, the thinnest crisp, often packed with the loudest crunch. This snack is dusted with a creamy and savory cheese flavor. Y'all, they had me at cheese. They had me at cheese. She's a holler. So funny, funny fact, this looks like Lil Debbie. Does it not? Like Lil Debbie's cousin possibly? Yeah. I wish I could read what it says, but again, it's in Russian. Cause there's a little description there about Lil Debbie's lookalike. <laughs> Her twin, little Susie. <laughs> okay, so it's just like America where half the bag is air. Look at this guys, look at that. Look at that, all that air, and this is chips. Okay, so they look like your typical chips. You know, nothing fancy. Oh, oh, they smell like cheese. Oh yeah, okay. That first flavor, oh. Oh, I thought her eye was. <laughs> Her eye was uh, a little twisted there, but it was the way I had the bag. Never mind. I was gonna say now I know why she's making that look. Um, they remind me of Ruffles cheddar cheese chips. That's what these remind me of. Initially, it's kind of like woo hoo, okay cheese. You're like snacking me in the taste buds, but I do like the taste as it settles down. Mm. And they're a little bit thicker than typical potato chips, which I appreciate. I definitely think it holds the flavor more. And they look like they've been cut from potatoes. I'm gonna try to show you the width there. Can you see that? A little bit thicker. I like these. Mm. I love the texture. I love the crunch ratio with it. I'm getting very used to the flavor. That bite was delicious. That one wasn't too powerful. I guess it just kind of like, you know, when the chips have a little too much seasoning on them. Um, I'm digging these. Uh, what do I rate them? So, maybe A minus. You know what I wish? I wish that the flavor of these could be on these that listen 
That's a snack there. If you could do that, anybody in Russia listening to this, put the flavor of these onto these. And then, you know, just cut me my 10% <laughs> for the idea. <laughs> but yeah, these are awesome. I like that they have some thickness to them, you know? Mm-hmm. Those are good. Those are very good. Oh my goodness, guys. That, that is the end of the snacks. That is it. So, I'm sure they got some good things on here as well. If you got the larger box, I love how they show you everything that could potentially come in the box depending on, you know, what you get. So, I'm on this side with the mini, but the original snack, it shows what's on that side. And if I wanted a drink, it would have been the bike, the back cow, B A I K A L. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but the drink would have been this classic drink is described as tasting like the journey into the heart of the magical fairy Kaija? Tika? Tika? I don't know. I don't have it. But I just wanted to read it to you guys, okay? So this was so much fun being back here with you guys and exploring all of the wonderful snacks that I have here. Thank you so much for tuning in again on another episode of In the Kitchen with Lady Luxury. And um, stay tuned. Definitely, even more so now, it's important that you guys hit that little button um, with the bell on it to subscribe so that you know when any new videos drop because they will not be consistent going forward or if every week. Um, I will try my very best, but like I said, I am uh, transitioning into another undertaking that's going to take um, a very large amount of my time up. And so I really wanna put my focus there. Um, I appreciate all of you guys that have been watching thus far. I will continue to make videos again. They just may not be every single week, okay? So enjoy this one. Go back and look at the rest of the other ones that I have there. Um, don't forget to hit that like button. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and your family and all that good stuff, okay? And do not forget to like it. And like our power thought card, excuse me, like our power thought card has said, let's not forget to think in abundance, okay? Because at the end of the day, what we think and what we say brings life. And that's just what it is. So let's bring life to things that are positive and things that are going to really impact our lives in the best way possible so that we can continue being the best versions of ourselves every single day for ourselves and for everyone else around. Because at the end of the day, guess what? We are all interconnected. We are all connected as one, guys. So. Let's treat our fellow brothers and sisters with love and respect, especially during these tough times right now. Let's really do a better job of doing that. And guess what? If we can learn to love us better, then it's just going to be second nature that we love those around us that much more. Okay, guys? So let's, let's continue to do the work to love us first and foremost, and then spread that love to everyone else, okay? So give yourself a big hug today. Yes, it is hump day. You are halfway through the week and you can do it. You can keep pushing through. Okay, guys, I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm so happy um, about what is to come and I cannot wait to share with you all about what is to come. And again, in the meantime, like, share and subscribe. Okay. And until next time, guys, I love you and I will see you soon on In the Kitchen with Lady Luxury. Bye, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay loving you and everyone else. Bye.